2016, Module 5, Part 2. In this segment, we're going to be looking at a list of values query. So what we're looking at here is we need to create a query that is going to choose values if they equal a certain list of options. This must begin with the word in. So I like to think of it as I'm choosing the records in the list. So you begin with the word in and then your list is going to be in parentheses. Each list option must be separated by commas. And the other formatting thing that you need to remember is that if you have text values, each value in the list must be individually in quotes. So we're going to be doing one for the cities, Cody, Ralston, and Powell. If we only put quotes at the very beginning and then again at the very end, what we would be saying is Cody, comma, Ralston, comma, Powell would be the name of one city. So you need to make sure that each individual value is placed in quotes. If you have numeric values in the list, such as I want to select the options that are 1, 2, or 3, numeric values do not go in quotes. So let's go ahead and see if we can work on a couple of examples. So we're going to go back into our database. We are in the Care Center database. So for the list of values, again, we need to go to the Create tab. List of values is not a wizard. So we're going to choose Query Design. For this first one I'm going to do, we are going to choose our owner table. I'm going to practice again adding all of the fields in the same order that they're in the table. So if we wanted to see what all the fields were, we could drag our box down and you'd see them all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the owner, the name of the table. Then I'm going to click on a field, hold down the mouse and drag that field in to the columns. It will populate all of the fields in the order that they are in the table. So our list is fields in the city. I'm going to enlarge the city column so that we'll be able to see the entire criteria. I want to click in the city column. What we're going to type is we are going to type the word in then add a space and open the parentheses to type your list. Now remember that each individual value must be inside quotes individually. So the first value is Cody. So I'm going to type quote, Cody, quote. Then put a comma and then quote, Ralston, quote, comma, space, quote, Powell, quote. When your list is done, you close the parentheses. You want to notice each individual value is enclosed in quotes and they are separated by commas. 
the entire list has to be enclosed in parentheses. If you wanted to see, well, get my mouse to move, sorry about that. If you wanted to see this larger, we can right click and choose Zoom and it brings you up into an entry box. So if you didn't want to enlarge the column here, you could zoom and type it in in this zoom box. If you use the zoom box, when you click OK, it just simply puts it back in the criteria row. Let's go ahead and click Run. And now you should be able to find cities of Cody, Ralston, and Powell, and no other options. Whenever you're given a list, you want to make sure that all of the options in the list show up in your query results. If you were missing, for example, Ralston, you would want to go back and check for typing errors. Let's go ahead and save this query. I am going to save it. Q-R-Y Cody Ralston Powell Owners. And then I'm going to put the word list after it. Again, you don't have to do that if you are not going to refer back to this file later on. But if you are going to, that help, may help refresh your memory as the type of query it is. Well, let's look at the data here in our billing. So maybe now I want to do a list of values for certain dollar amounts. Maybe 35, 45, and 50. Okay, so we're going to create that list. So I'm going to again go to Create, Query Design. This time I'm going to choose the billing table. I'm a big fan of being able to see all of my fields, so I usually drag down the box so that they're all visible. Let's just say we're going to add all of them, so I'm going to double click on the table name, click on a field, and drag it down to populate all of them. So in the invoice amount field, in the criteria row, I'm going to make my list. So this time, I'm dealing with numbers. So I'm going to type in, space, and open my parentheses. Since these are numbers, and they're not text, then I don't need to put them in quotes. So if I had 35, comma, 45, comma, 50, and close my parentheses. Next, I can click Run, and you see that those three invoice amounts are included, but the other invoice amounts are not. So let's go ahead and save this one. We are going to call it Query, Q-R-Y, Invoice, A-M-T, and then uppercase list. We're doing a few extra examples in these videos to ensure that you have plenty of practice to get ready for your case exam. So that includes working with a list of values, 
The key thing you want to remember, text values individually in quotes, numbers are not in quotes. It must begin with the word in. Your list is inside parentheses with each of the options separated by commas. I'm going to go ahead and close this query. And that concludes our list of values.